In this video, I will um, demonstrate how to use the measurement tool in Google Maps. Um, it's also a, a basic uh, primer on how to use Google Maps in general. So, yeah, you need to open up a browser window. <coughs> the easiest way to get to Google Maps is just hit maps.google.com. There's our website. Um, Google Maps is a really great uh, application. You can, um, you, know, you can go anywhere in the world, really. You can zoom in and out pretty easily. We'll do that in a second. But you can toggle back and forth by clicking it on the top right. You see how this is satellite. So I click satellite and I get satellite imagery. I click map and it's just sort of a generic map. So if you want to find an address, I mean, you can type in, in the address bar up here. You can type in anything, a city, a state, a country, whatever. Um, but I'm going to find a specific address. So we'll go 41 Chaucer Drive. Um, York. So this is, just type it in, hit enter, and it's going to automatically zoom to that property. Okay, so you can see we're in map view right now. Can't really see any details of what's going on other than outlines of buildings and roads. So if you click on satellite, this is real satellite imagery. I mean, this, this comes from um, a satellite. So you can actually zoom in. There's two ways to zoom in and out. You can either do the, on the left-hand side the plus and minus, or uh, a lot easier, you just mouse over where you want to zoom in, and you can use the, um, the wheel on your mouse to roll in. So you can zoom in by rolling forward, zoom out by rolling back. Um, just a note of caution, it, it does have a limitation how far you can zoom, so if you zoom in too far, this can happen. It automatically go to the street view, which is also in itself really interesting. Um, I'm not going to get into that in this video, um, but if you want to get out of that, you can do, um, if you just roll back on your wheel, you can get out of that street view. Not quite sure what happened there. We got a split screen. Um, if I want to exit Street View, there's a up here in the corner. You can click that X, and you're back to normal. Okay, so if we want to measure somewhere, so by the way, with with Google Maps, you can just click, right click on the map, and drag around all you want. So I click here. I want to move. You can do that. You can also use these buttons to do that too. Okay, so if I want to measure something, I actually have to enable the tool. And so the measurement tool is it's kind of buried, hard to find if you don't know what you're doing. Um, but if you click this map labs over here, you can see here's a measurement tool. It's right now disabled. I click enable, click save changes. Now this little ruler pops up. So if I want to measure a distance, I click on the ruler. Um, it, gives me, it gives me the option to do metric or English. I'm going to do English. Um, and then you simply click on a point. There's one point. Click on another point. Okay, you can clearly indicates what you're measuring. Here's the total distance. It's at 33.6 some feet. Um, don't get too excited about the supposed accuracy of this measurement. It's really not that accurate. Um, you know, you can. It's a good way to to ballpark the size of something, but it's not going to give you super accurate measurements. Um, now, one of the nice things you can actually grab this if you right click on a point. You can drag it anywhere you want. So let's drag it to this side of the building going to drop that point you can see the distance has changed and so I could use that you know if you if you want to measure the area of a building you could easily measure all the all the sides and figure it out from there um, you can also delete the last point you can reset the whole thing and start over again so if you click let's reset that let's say I want to measure this sidewalk over here click a point click another point there's a distance on the sidewalk okay so this is um, for I and by the way after you you um, measure a distance, you can switch to metric or English while the, the um, line is still there. Okay, So that will give you a good idea how to use this distance measurement tool. Um, in another video, I'll go over how to use the distance measurement tool in Google Earth.